so hey lovelies welcome back to my channel and today we're making this delicious carrot punch so if you're not subscribed as yet please go ahead and subscribe like comment and share guys So to make our carrot punch guys, I'm going to be using two pounds of carrot. As you can see, I already peel and wash these carrots. So all I have to do now is chop the carrots. So two pounds of carrot and we're going to make this carrot punch a little bit different today. We're going to cook the carrot. We're not just, we're not just going to blend it. We're going to cook it first and then blend it. So all I'm doing is chopping the carrot, right? You can chop the carrot in the size you prefer. But since I'm going to cook it, I don't have to cut it that small. I'm just chopping it and then we're going to cook it. So this is the carrot after I chop it, guys. Now I'm just going to add it to the pot to cook for at least 10 to 15 minutes and then let it cool down and then we're going to blend it to make our carrot punch. This way, guys, you get everything from the carrot we don't throw away nothing we eat everything we drink everything from the carrot so all i'm doing is adding it to the pot to cook for at least 10 to 15 minutes so we're going to add some cinnamon stick and a pinch of salt right and cook our carrot we're going to cook it for at least 10 to 15 minutes so after the carrot is cooked we're just going to turn the stove off allow it to cool down and then we're going to blend it but first you have to take out your cinnamon stick so you're going to take out the cinnamon stick because you don't want to blend the cinnamon stick allow it to cool down and then we're going to blend our carrot So after the carrot is blended, we're going to pour it out and then we're going to add all the sweetener and the spices, right? So now we're going to sweeten our carrot punch. I'm going to be using one can of milk. I might not use all. I'm going to use in like three quarter can of the milk, right? I'm not going to use all. Because it might be too sweet. After I add the milk, then I'm going to go in with my vanilla. Then after I add the vanilla, I'm going to add a little bit of rose water. Then some fresh grated nutmeg. And then we're going to just combine everything together. And then we're going to serve our carrot punch. Remember we add the cinnamon stick to it when we're cooking it. So that's why I didn't add any cinnamon powder. To it because it already have the cinnamon taste right so we're just going to combine everything together look how beautiful that is guys it's coming out so beautiful so after you come on combine everything together just whisk it until everything is combined together then you can put it on your refrigerator to cool or you can just serve it on some ice So after I combine all the ingredients together now, I'm going to pour it in my pitcher and just put it on the refrigerator and allow it to cool. But before, I'm going to serve some and some ice. Look at that. It is so delicious, guys. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video.